All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Grounded Modular Vehicles mod, which is being made by form user Blackheart612. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an impressive number of modular parts for building trucks and jeeps and cars and all manner of ground-based vehicles, and all of which having that same styling as the in-game vehicles you you see scattered around like the R&D building and inside the VAB, etc. So pretty cool to have those, I guess you'd say, stock-alike vehicles. So let's jump around right into the space plane hangar and have a look at what parts we do have. So let's head down here to the janitor's closet mod filter and just leave a grounded selected. And we'll start here with the first part, the G1 vehicle command, which is our one and only command pod for this particular pack for the time being and as you can see it's a pretty simple little crew cabin bearing well resemblance to the crew cabins of those little vehicles in the background as I said it you know based on that same styling and the command pod itself has a maximum crew capacity of two, a minimum of one to operate, has a built-in reaction wheel, crew report, and electric charge of 50. And it does have its own custom internal view, which is simplistic, but nice to have. I mean, come on, who doesn't love a good internal view and uh yeah overall a fun little part now uh, the next thing we have is in fuel tanks and it is an ore container for you to slap onto the back of one of these trucks now we don't have a uh, an attachment point really well i guess we could use this bottom one here there we go and as you can see it's just a large sort of industrial style container meant for holding a maximum of up to 300 ore and well that's all we have there for fuel tanks let's pop that off for now. In engines, we have nothing command and control, nothing, but in structural, we have quite a number of different chassis parts, as well as flatbed, se flatbed segments, and also platform segments here. And these are used to actually sort of build the bottom chassis of your vehicles. For instance, if we take the modular platform segment B here and just pop it right onto the bottom of our command pod, we now have a beautiful little wheel well, but a wheel won't quite fit in there, so we're going to have to use, say, the chassis segment B and pop that right in there. And now the wheel will fit nice and snugly right in that divot. And as you can see, we then also have additional attachment points on the front and back for building out our vehicle a bit more. Now, as for the other parts we have in here, we have another platform segment, which is uh, sort of a you know, half a sized segment with a multitude of different attachment points for you to use. We also have a, a larger platform segment that has, well, I'm not, I guess, kind of one of the chassis pieces built in. I guess the chassis segment A sort of already built into that bit. And then for the chassis segments, we have the chassis segment C, which of course we can pop there, which fits quite nicely to one of the half structures. We have the B, which of course we already popped on there. We have the A half, which again, there we go, just a half sized one. And then the modular chassis a, which we can pop right onto there, which, as I did say, kind of matches up with the platform segment A. But you have all those different bits and pieces to build that, and then we also have some flatbed segments here for you to not have to deal with this little channel and have some sort of well, flatbed. And as you can see, we can pop that right onto there, and that is the full-size segment, and we also have a half-size segment. And thanks to all those little attachment points on these uh, platform bits, you can take, say, like what I've done here, and have a half-piece and a full-piece under a whole piece and a half piece here and have them, you know, basically opposite there. You can basically put one of these half pieces anywhere along the line that you want, and that uh, works out pretty well, especially considering some of the other parts that we have down the line. It's cool to have that ability. Now, we don't just have those pieces, though, in here. We also have three more up the top. We have a chassis bumper, which, of course, goes wonderfully on the front of any vehicle, and then we also have trailer hitches, which are extraordinarily useful because, well, 
you can tow things. And we have the chassis hitch segment, which will pop back there, excellent. And then the chassis hitch pike segment, which will pop on the front. And as you can see, they are the two different adapter segments for you to basically use as a docking port. You actually do have to right click on them and arm one of them to actually function. As you can see, it kind of, you know, pops out a little bit there. And then once armed, you just need to back into a vehicle that has the other piece and then you will have an actual trailer hitch which is pretty cool and uh quite fun quite fun to have that ability now sadly we cannot attach trailer hitches here in the space plane hangar or the vab so this is something you're gonna have to build one part your tow vehicle and then the other part your trailer and then actually dock them out in the world it would be nice if we could you know somehow build in here like you can do with docking ports but oh well it is still fun nonetheless and who doesn't like a trailer hitch it's just useful now next in coupling nothing payload we have one thing the g1 storage trunk which is a nice little half sized segment bit and it gives you a you know little trunk that you can open and close and put stuff in and that's just wonderful now nothing in aerodynamic but in ground we have two wonderful things the first is the tr1l ruggedized vehicular wheel which is a pretty good little wheel here with a stress tolerance of 900 a max speed of 58 meters per second of course using electric charge and as i did mention earlier goes perfectly once you have those chassis pieces right in that little notch of the wheel well now we also have have the ST1 support leg, which is, you know, just a small little landing leg, or of course you could use it as a vehicle jack that can either be deployed or, you know, retracted there, which is fun to have. Great for those trailer segments. I've played around a lot with that. You know, you can have just a back trailer that once you get into position, you can retract these support legs to lift the wheels up a bit to then, you know, do other things. Oh, it's cool. Now we have nothing in third in electrical nothing again and nor in communication but in science we do have a grounded SC 9001 science junior which is an observable material bay and I should probably actually have a slightly larger chassis segment back here for us to actually attach this thing to so there we go and now we can see it in all of its glory now it will add on whatever flag you are using and if we just open up the back we have the lovely little Science Junior back there, which is pretty cool. I really, really do like this piece. And then finally, after science, we have utility with a number of different things here. The first is a container docking port. Quite useful, of course, for, you know, that large ore container. You can put one of these docking ports on the bottom of one and then have a flatbed truck with one of these and then have some sort of crane to, like, lower things down, etc. It would be pretty fun. So we do have that docking container port. We then also have two different hybrid cell generators which of course take fuel liquid fuel and air intake to produce electric charge now we have the g1 hybrid fuel cell a there we go which can be uh, closed or opened there for a lovely little view and then we have the b version which you know is pretty similar I mean actually more or less identical except for a slightly different size as you can see that one doesn't take up all of the width whereas this one does take up the full width of the bed which is useful now as for their actual use they will use the same amount of liquid fuel and air intake to produce the same amount of electric charge and they both have 50 electric charge battery to hold, which is always good. And also 25 liquid fuel to use. Now the next pieces we have are for, of course, habitats to be able to carry a few more personnel. The first one is the G1 vehicle habitat, which is nice to, you know, round out your vehicle there. Very good. More or less identical to the command pod, except without the actual command pod abilities. 
And then we have the Habitat B, which is more of a sort of midsection there. Very fun, both of which do have internal views. And finally, we have two different lights for you to play around with. The Place Anywhere Circular Illuminator and the Square Illuminator for you to use as headlights or, well, anything really. Working lights, etc. And that is all the parts for the Grounded Modular Vehicles mod. So let's go out to over by the launch pad where I've built just four really quick vehicles to kind of show off the parts in a general use. Now, if you took more time to actually build something much more interesting, you can actually create some pretty impressive little vehicles. And actually on the mod page, there are some very impressive looking vehicles there for you to take a look at uh, that were created. I just kind of threw together a couple here just for generic usage, such as this personnel car, which does hold in total six Kerbals with the command section and then the two different habitat sections. And as I did say, we do have internal views. So this is in the command pod. Uh, as I did say, a pretty basic view. Nice, lovely, large windows and then some basic speed gauges and that is it. Now, of course, going to the other personnel here. There we go. Lovely view. And then this is uh, the back container. As you can see, we do have a rear window out the back there. And, of course, two seats. And then we have the middle container, which is, you know, just the two windows on the either side and two seats to use. So that is uh, just a simple little uh, crew vehicle, which does have a tow hitch for you to, you know go and tow things. Now, of course, we then also do have a simple little ore truck here. I didn't actually add the container docking port, but still, you know, it's a nice little ore truck that you can go around and pop some stuff in and, you know, have ore for your usage. And as you can see, actually, uh, just to short, sort of show off the wheels here, they are pretty zippy little wheels. They accelerate pretty darn quick and have a pretty pretty tight turn radius, though of course I do have both wheels turning uh, rather than just the front wheels and both powering, but yeah, they are actually quite nice wheels. I do very much enjoy them. They are very useful. Now let's head to the next truck here, which is the power truck that I made, which has the lovely hybrid cell A there for you to use and be able to create electric charge, and also has a storage trunk for you to have tools, etc. And as can see it is attached with one of the trailer hitches to a little trailer that I made with no command whatsoever. It also has some storage trunks and then also of course just a large flatbed for you to use with whatever. And if we do turn off the brakes we can sort of move around with the trailer and is it uh, actually free pivoting? There we go. So it will actually articulate as a trailer should if you do right click and turn the pivoting to free. You can, of course, lock the pivoting if you don't want it to do that, but frankly, who doesn't want an articulating trailer hitch? It's just nice. It makes things look a little bit more realistic. Though, oh god, you can do things like that if you turn too quick. Oh, I jackknifed it. Ah, there we go. Just kind of keep on moving. And yeah, so the last one, of course, that I did make is just a simple little science truck here, again with some lovely trailer hitches for towing, but probably my favorite part the lovely Science Junior in there. It's just cool. And I mean, come on, who doesn't love, you know, some big open doors on the back of a truck to reveal science? But yes, yeah, so that is really it, I guess, for the Grounded mod. A lot of fun little parts. I've definitely been enjoying my time with this mod. You can make some pretty cool vehicles if you do actually spend the time to, you know, actually make something look cool. You can certainly do it, and you got a plenty, a plenty large number of options to play with. But that is gonna be it for this video. If you'd like to check out the mod for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual but that is going to be it for today i hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one